Hi, welcome to the channel. A topic came to mind recently as I was contemplating how much effort it is to run a YouTube channel. Can you create a Warhammer YouTube channel in 2024? Now let me set some background to that. There are lots of challenges to running a YouTube channel. A big learning curve for videoing, editing, sound, lighting, thumbnail creation, being a presenter, and of course making engaging content. Short form media is most popular now. TikTok shorts reels have created the perfect recipe for holding people's attention as they scroll through and lose hours doom scrolling. Long form videos on YouTube have seen a decline and lots of channels have felt the pinch too. You're always at the mercy of the YouTube algorithm. Let's chat about the algorithm. It is so key. What YouTube wants is to keep people on the platform watching for as long as possible. That can come from watching a long video or watching videos back to back, which is having a long session time. It also cares about the percentage of a video people watch through, the higher the better. The first part of getting views though is being clicked on, and that's the psychological game of thumbnails and titles. YouTube tracks the amount of clicks for how many times your thumbnail has been shown, and that percentage is used to decide whether to continue showing the video. Ultimately, YouTube decides whether to keep promoting a video based on these factors, and after a while, the video dies and your thumbnail won't be shown. Generally, there's not much click volume from searches, so homepage and recommendations is where it's at. So how does your video get promoted by YouTube? When you publish a video, the first thing YouTube does is show your thumbnail to a small group. This is based on people that have interacted with your channel recently, or that YouTube feels is likely to watch your content. Fortunately or unfortunately, that isn't based on your subscriber list. Based on how well your video does with that group, using click percentage and watch percentage, YouTube widens the audience. Slowly opening the floodgates, the gates are always constrained though by the video performance. If that initial group doesn't engage with your video, then it's likely it will fizzle out and get a small number of views only. The bigger the channel, the bigger the initial group is. And also the more established a channel and its viewers are, the more likely you'll pick up those early clicks. However, what's clear from this model, since the test group shown your thumbnail are those that recently watch your channel, the more targeted the video is to that group, the better it'll do. And by that I mean if you do a video about Tyranids, and then the next one about Eldar, the audience for Tyranids may not click the Eldar one, and the video could die quickly and not do very well. You are then pushed into creating content specifically to get those early clicks, and it's your most recent audience, so it creates a narrow target to aim for. I'm doing things all wrong for my channel. I have a generalist channel that covers anything about 40k, and I'll jump around factions and topics as it takes my fancy. I do it because it's what I enjoy. It is a hobby after all, as I have a full-time job and a family. If you're starting a YouTube channel in 2024, then your best option is to have a narrow focus and stick to it. Become the channel known for a particular faction, say. If you do this, and of course create great videos, you'll get a lot of views. You can get views by creating topical and trending content, but this is a massively hard treadmill to run on. Other creators, and the main one being Auspex Tactics, are machines able to get videos out so quickly. You can of course be really negative about things, negativity sells. People click this stuff so you'll get views, but you'll also get hate for it. Decide what type of creator you want to be. A video saying the new GW box set is great won't get views. One that says it's rubbish will. It's the sad truth. It's impossible to always create unique videos. There are so many creators on YouTube, even for Warhammer. So it's about creating an engaging angle or individual style to try and stand out. The thumbnail needs to convey this and get people clicking. Another key piece of advice is video length. There are different schools of thought. Some say six to eight minutes, others say eight to 15. The key thing is keeping people watching and the longer the better for YouTube. Having a 30 minute video that people watch for 10 minutes seems to perform better than a five minute video that people watch for three. Yes, the percentage view time of 60% on that shorter video is very good, but the total time really matters. Again, me and my channel have done it all wrong. My thing is for videos to be under five minutes, to be easy to consume without repeating myself, and just be short sure, because it's what I want to watch. I have a good average view percentage, but long videos with lower view percentage do better, and it's because of total watch time. So can you create a Warhammer YouTube channel in 2024? The answer is yes. But if you're a videographer and super skilled at making great narrative and content, then that's the main win condition. You can make a channel and it'll do well. Otherwise, I think you need to have a strong focus and create content for that audience. Be known for one thing and you'll see your views and subscribers grow. Whatever format of video you make, focus on keeping people's attention for as long as possible and aim for longer formats like 8 to 15 minutes. Then just prepare yourself for how much effort it is to run a YouTube channel and post regularly. Thinking up content ideas is hard and prepare for the disappointment when you put a lot of effort into a video and it gets hardly any views and dies. So good luck, but feel free to reach out and contact me through the comments or become a member and come on our Discord server as I'm happy to chat about this. It's a fun topic in the end. See you again soon. Bye.